Hey everybody, welcome to Fast Tip Friday, another bit of hopefully valuable knowledge or information or perspective that you haven't thought about because sometimes we just get our heads down and keep driving forward and we don't really start to see the world around us. Um, as some of you may know, my office is uh, right on the other side of the fence from a cemetery. And uh, oddly enough, at times I stand at my door, I look out that window and I see these monuments to people that have um, lived the lives here in the borough of Westchester or in our community that are now laid to rest here. And there's one name on a, on a headstone that I see out there that has been, I'll say bothering me, but it's been kind of poking at me. And I don't know why, I don't know what really makes me think about it as much as I do, but I think today I found the answer. Uh, the name on the headstone is Mosteller, M-O-S-T-E-L-L-E-R. And for those of us that are in their 60s, even their 50s, and you lived around Westchester, we all grew up shopping at Mosteller's department store right in the center of Westchester. And it was a great family owned business, three floors of everything you need to wear, to put in your home. If you were a boy scout or a girl scout, they sold all the uniforms and merit badge books, everything you could get at Mosteller's department store in Westchester. And there I walk out of my office every day and I see the Mosteller headstone and it makes me stop for a second and I think about change and how willing we all have to be to make the changes to stay with the times to stay current to be effective with the economy with the business climate with the changing structure and demands of the American workforce and there's Jay Mosteller's headstone looking at me and the sad part of the story is Jay's store went out of business. It's got to be 25 years ago, maybe 30 years ago. And why? Jay Mosteller didn't move to the malls, or he did only briefly. He wasn't prepared for it. And as the shopping climate changed and everybody in America wanted to move indoors to do their commerce, Jay couldn't make the change. And sadly, a really great family business in a really great community no longer exists. So here's my message to all of you. Um, the world's going to change. There is no status quo. It's either you're either moving forward or you're falling behind and you can stand still and just fall behind. Be prepared, be aware, stay on top of things and learn how to change with the changing climate, the changing demands of business, the changing demands of technology so that you don't become the next department store or the next guy or woman that decides I don't have to use email. There's still some of them out there. I don't want to look, I don't want to use ways I want to use a paper map. I don't want to use these technological advances that help us make life easier, uh, more efficient, possibly more effective. Don't plant your feet on the past and think it's going to work for you in the future. So a little bit of a downer message today, but um, I just, that headstone with Mosteller staring me in the face every time I leave the office, I finally figured out why it was bugging me. Be vibrant be flexible, be accommodating, change with the times, grow with the times, succeed with the times. Charlie Houck, Fast Tip Friday. Take care. Have a great weekend.